Let's discuss now about the classification problem when our data has discrete features. And so what, what this means is that we have features uh, such as, uh, you know, the color of, of your object, or uh, uh, it could be that uh, it's a, um, a label out of a fixed uh, number of uh, labels for, for, that, uh, for that object. And so in this case, we uh, we have to have a different representation because um, uh, these assumptions about uh, normal distributions and, and all the other things we, we have done for continuous features uh, cannot be applied. And so just to simplify the discussion for a moment, I, I consider this case first when we have just binary features. So you have just two options for the value of that feature. And, and then in, in just a moment on the next slide, we discuss the general case when we have an arbitrary number of, but finite number of features or, or values for, for that feature. So in the case of we have a binary, so each feature uh, only has a value zero or one. So in this case, we introduce this notation. So this is going to be uh, the set of parameters we need to estimate is going to be about the uh, probability ij by definition, the probability that feature j has value one um, for a data point from class uh, ci. And if these features are independent, so in other words, if we are in the case of a uh, naive Bayes classifier, then this uh, joint probability function is going to be a uh, product of the situation for each feature. So um, is going to be the uh, product from one to d, so by the number of features of pij to power xj times one minus pij to the power one minus xj. And, and that's something we had also in the univariate case. And we can take the uh, discriminant uh, function and, and again, uh, just like before coming from the Bayes rule, we have this form of the uh, discriminant function. And uh, once we plug in this uh, form of the probability, we, we are coming up with, with this. And um, we can see that the discriminant is, uh, is linear in this case. And <clears throat> we can estimate uh, uh, the, the, the parameters. So the maximum likelihood estimator for, for our parameters is simply uh, of this form. So it's just a count of how many ones we have in um, uh, in, in class CI and it's divided over uh, how many uh, samples we have in that class. So again, um, very similar to the uh, univariate case. Now, <clears throat> in the general case when in fact we have a uh, multinomial set of features. So what, what this means is that your feature XJ uh, has more than just two values. Uh, so more than just zero, one, but in fact it has in general a number of values, let's say for feature j, we have nj uh, number of values, and the value can be any one of these labels, v1, v2, all the way to uh, vnj. And so <clears throat> in this case, we introduce this uh, probability ijk, and this stands for the probability that xj um, belonging to class ci takes value uh, vk. So, um, that's uh, that's written just in here. So one more time, the uh, probability that uh, xj belonging to class ci takes value uh, k. And if these features are independent, so again, if we are in a situation where we can apply uh, the naive base classifier, um, this uh, conditional probability uh, gets written as a uh, product of the uh, individual probabilities for um, each feature and for each um, uh, value that feature can take. And the discriminant function in this case has this uh, formula. So again, to uh, maximize this discriminant function, we can uh, uh, think in terms of uh, taking derivatives and, and uh, thinking about the maximum likelihood estimator. And it comes to this that the maximum likelihood estimator in this case has this form. And, and that's it. Once we, we clarify that this is the uh, form of pijk, we can plug this value into this uh, discriminator and that's going to give us the basis for our classifier. So for a new data point, 
um, after training, after you know making these estimates for PIJK, we are going to uh, predict the class according to this uh, estimator. So we calculate GI of X and then we take the class CI maximizing uh, the value uh, GI for that data point X.